What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be all about classic lashes and how to perfect your classic lashes. So let's get into it. Okay, so when starting out, obviously the first thing you learn is classic lashes. Generally speaking, classic lashes are supposed to be your fundamentals, your basics, your go-to lash extensions uh, when learning how to do lashes. And then obviously like you have your clients that love their classics. But a lot of times it's hard to perfect your classic lashes and they don't come out as full or as uh, clean as you may anticipate and sometimes you see these photos of people that have like these beautiful beautiful classics and you're like how like how did that happen so I'm gonna give you some tips that I have learned along the way that um, have helped me perfect my classics okay so my number one thing that I had actually learned uh, and it was by fluke actually was that uh, I personally feel like thinner lashes actually make your sets fuller they make them look cleaner and they just have like a little bit more to them. So when I say thinner lashes, I'm talking about uh, your weight. So a lot of the times people's go-to is the 0.20s for classics, uh, but I'd say go down to a 0.15 or maybe even a 0.18 if you really want to. Um, that way I find that your lashes come out a lot more uniformed. Uh, and just cleaner. They just look so much prettier, so much flirtier. Um, and then also you're uh, reducing the damage on your client's natural lash because you're not putting so much weight on them. That is my number one favorite thing to do with classics is uh, not to put 0.20s but to put 0.15s. Now that being said, you can also perfect a cute little classic by uh, switching up your weight so you can start with your 0.15s and then add some 0.20s in there what I would do personally to give yourself a nice dark dense classic um, obviously sometimes it's not as easy to achieve a full looking classic because obviously the lashes could naturally be sparsed out more or um, sorry spaced out more and then look sparse uh, but one of the tips that I've learned that I think is great is to actually uh, go in with your 0.15s but then do that that bottom layer of lashes in 0.20s because in that way you can really darken up the lash line and just really really get that nice fuller look because the darker your lash line looks the fuller your natural the lashes look um, that kind of brings me to my next point so the second tip I would highly recommend is to lash in layers not everyone has um, a ton of layers but some people do some people have really really uh, defined layers so what you can always do is just pull back the lashes and then go in with that bottom lash line um, or the bottom layer with like 0.20s and then keep going up and then just go to 0.15s throughout the rest um, I feel like that way you'll get a nice dark look and then um, it'll look kind of like full you know what I mean my next point which I've actually learned not too long ago uh, is actually go shorter so a lot of times people want to take classics specifically and go a lot longer because they think that they're going to get a more dramatic look, which is true. Obviously, you will have a lot of more uh, lashes to look at in the sense that it would be very noticeable to have like these like longer lashes, but then they give off like a spidery look. And I find that you can definitely see imperfections when they're placed left, they're placed right, they're placed all wonky. Like you can totally see them when they're longer. Um, but as you're practicing and you're getting better, obviously that'll change with time. But I would say the best thing you can do is go shorter. Um, maybe don't go past like a 13-ish. Um, I would even stick at like 12. I think 12s are like ideal. Start with like 8 or even start with 9 and then go up to 12s. Um, doesn't matter your style, whether you're doing a doll eye class or a or a cat eye or whatever um, try to use the style within those that range of like t uh, 9 8 9 to 12 um, and I think you'll get a nice fuller look and then they won't be so sparsed out at the ends because what happens is once they start kind of um, going up with the curl you kind of see them cut, like have major spaces in between and that's just it's gonna happen it's, it, that's just what it is um, but obviously for your clients that don't mind going a little bit shorter and actually do want the fuller look try to go a little bit shorter just to see what it looks like and then um, I'm sure they'll love the difference but it looks so so nice my next tip is actually something I learned from somebody else. Um, one of my, my lash tech actually, she has this really cool um, magnifying lens and actually let me show you. So it's this little thing here. So it's like this magnifying lens. 
um, you kind of just put it on your head and then it kind of just shows you everything. There's a little light on it too. I've never used the light. This actually helps a lot when you're lashing someone who has thinner lashes because when you have clients that have thinner lashes, I mean in general, no matter what, when you're doing a classic set, uh, every lash counts. So you want to make sure you're getting as many lashes as you can possibly get. Obviously healthy lashes, obviously not baby lashes, but sometimes there could be like healthy lashes kind of tucked underneath. So this helps a ton with isolation. And the more you can isolate, the more lashes you'll get and the fuller your set will look. That's like the ideal, the ideal tool if you're struggling with isolation or if you're struggling in terms of, um, getting as many lashes on there as possible obviously you never want to overdo it and ruin any lashes or double up on lashes because a classic is a classic because it's individual lashes so don't ever think that doubling up is the way to go um, then you start going into a hybrid and you have to explain that to your client this is strictly classics you want to make sure you're sticking to classics your clients are getting classics and they're getting the best possible classic now that being said, um, these tips work great and they can really make a difference with your set, but everybody is different and everyone's lash line is different, everyone's natural lashes are different, so you always have to basically predict the outcome based on what their natural lashes look like. Um, obviously, if you have a client who has very, very sparse lashes, they're not going to have super full classic and that's okay because that's what their natural lashes look. Now, if they choose um, or the, now if they want to have a more full, dense look, and they say that then obviously now you have to talk about moving on to a hybrid or a volume because obviously you'll get that with that style but uh, in terms of classics you have to set up people's expectations and let them know what you're seeing as the professional and what you think could be the best outcome from that for them okay so I hope this helps I hope that these little tips uh, make a difference in your classic lashing and yeah don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and I'll be back with something new next time bye